Now live. Okay. So I'm going to make a raw carob sesame drink that to me is like a cho better than a chocolate malt. <laughs> so, but the first part of it is to be done at in the evening and it's a um, soaking the sesame seeds. So I thought I'm going to just I'm going to just let you guys, whoever cares to watch, watch me soak sesame seeds. Let's see now. I'll put that there. There we go. Okay. So I'm just going to take one cup of sesame seeds, raw sesame seeds. And I'm going to wash them. Well, this water is a little too much water in here. So, just going to wash them there. A spoon. So this is all I'm doing tonight. The rest of the recipe I'm going to do tomorrow morning. So. What? Shall I videotape it? It's videotaping right now. <laughs> so. So this is just part one. And tomorrow morning I'm going to do the rest of this recipe. But it's 100% raw. It's just sesame seeds. Just soak them here. I'm rinsing them off first. out the liquid here. Can't see that part. I just poured them out. I had a little uh, one of these guys to catch the sesame seeds as I pour the water out. I guess I guess you could videotape me doing that. But anyway, that's a, our sink is a mess. <laughs> so and then so I'm just gonna let this soak overnight. Raw sesame seed, one cup of raw sesame seed. So tomorrow, I'm going to mix this with dates. Carob oh, oh my goodness, did you see that? Look what I just did. What did you do? Shake it up and what I just did. So anyway, I'll do, so tomorrow is going to be, <laughs> I'm going to put these back in here, but to be continued tomorrow, why am I soaking them? So that they blend easily and they make a, like a malt. When I blend them in my Vitamix tomorrow, it's going to make it like a malty consistency. And I think they're easier to digest if you soak them overnight. But that's, that's it for tonight. Come in and stay tuned for tomorrow, and I'll finish the recipe.